Hello and welcome. My name is Alan and today we are back with a testament of hope. The writings and speeches of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Today we are doing a short one. This is called Suffering and Faith. And all together it's about a page in length. I mean, it, it's a little bit on the back here, but it doesn't take up the whole front page either, so. But it's called Suffering and Faith, and the little pre-note they have here. The editors of Christian Century, aware that King, I cannot see for some reason. Aware that King constantly received numerous death threats against his life, urged him to urged him to comment on his view of of suffering. His remarks are quite brief, both because of its of his schedule and because of the way he was unwilling to appear as someone with a martyr complex. But yeah, let's uh, jump into this. Some of my personal sufferings over the last few years have also served to shape my thinking. I always hesitate to mention these experiences for fear of conveying the wrong impression. A person who is constantly who constantly calls attention to his trials and sufferings is in danger of developing a martyr complex and of making others feel that he is conscientiously seeking sympathy. It is possible for one to be self-centered in his self-denial and self-righteousness in his self-sacrifice. So, I am always reluctant to refer to any personal sacrifices. But I feel somewhat justified in mentioning them in this article because of the influence they have had in shaping my thinking. Due to my involvement in the struggle for the freedom of my people, I have known very few quiet days in the last few years. I have been arrested five times and put in Alabama jails. My home has been bombed twice. A day seldom passes that my family and I are not the recipients of threats of death. I have been the victim of a near-fatal stabbing. So in a real sense, I have been battered by the storms of persecution. I must admit that at times I have felt that I could no longer bear 
such a heavy burden and have been tempted to retreat to a more quiet and serene life. But every time such a temptation appeared, something came to strengthen and sustain my determination. I have learned now that the Master's burden is light precisely when we take his yoke upon us. My personal trials have also taught me the value of unmerited suffering. As my sufferings mounted, I soon realized that there were two ways that I could respond to my situation. Either to react with the bitterness or seek to transform the suffering into a creative force. I decided to follow the latter course, recognizing the necessity for suffering, I have tried to make it, to make of it a virtue, if only to save myself from bitterness, I have attempted to see any personal ordeals as an opportunity to transform myself and heal the people involved in the tragic situation, which now ob obtains. I have lived these last few years with the conviction that unarmed or unearned suffering is redemptive. There are some who still find they cross a stumbling block and others consider it foolishness. But I am more convinced, however, that than ever before that it is the power of God unto social and individual salvation. So like the apostate or like the Apostle Paul, I cannot I can now humbly let yet proudly say I bear in my body on my body the marks of the Lord Jesus the suffering and agonizing moments through which I have passed over the last few years have also drawn me closer to God. More than ever before, I am convinced of the reality of a personal God. And then he has a footnote uh, just showing which issue of Christian Century it was in when it was printed and 
page numbers, so. But, yeah. And all Dr. King was really talking about is he suffered a lot. Many a thing. You know, he talked about his home being bombed. Surviving a stabbing. The death threats. Uh, yeah, he's been in prison five times. At, at the point he wrote that. But, uh, yeah. Despite all this, instead of allowing it to make him a bitter person, he uses it to help drive himself further on. And belie believe, um, it is in his relationship with God that allows him to do this. But yeah, it's a short little piece, but that's all he's really talking about. I'm sorry I had such a slow reading voice. I was having trouble seeing... I needed to turn the light on, but I was just going from the daylight itself. Which right now it's 6 till 5 in the afternoon, so, yeah. So the daylight, it should have been bright enough, but for some reason the sun just isn't out. Not really doing anything, so... But as always, educate thyself. Think, read, study, learn. Ugh, excuse me. If anyone tries to tell you something you have trouble believing, ask them to cite their sources. But I'll see you all in the next video. Until then. Later.